Well, there were too many close calls where school children were nearly hit by cars. To address the problem, the city of Baraboo is turning to technology. They needed to find a way to slow down drivers and get them to stop at school crosswalks on a very busy street. Our Dave Delosier is just back from Baraboo with that story. Dave? Hey, Mark and Susan, you know busy really is the operative word here. The street sign in Baraboo may read 8th Avenue, but it is also Highway 33, and it runs right through the middle of Baraboo. With it comes lots and lots of traffic and lots of concerns as well. You're looking at the busiest street in Baraboo. And all day, every day, as the cars and trucks go by, Pat Dubig has a front row seat. Oh, I've lived here for 50 years or more. And her front porch reading room is a contrast to what happens 30 feet away. You see a lot of activity. And she knows the challenge that comes from getting from one side of 8th Avenue to the other. They're not very friendly. <laughs> and that is the problem. You have a street that sees high volumes of traffic, and because of three nearby schools, you also get high volumes of pedestrians. You have a crossing guard there, but even she almost gets hit. Uh, I've worked with crossing guards for many, many years, and we have so many close calls, it's incredible. And that is why the city is adding two flashing LED lights to those school crossings. Once triggered, the LED lights flash to let drivers know to stop. The new lights are solar powered, which help to reduce the cost, but these two lights still cost about $8,000. From a standpoint of, of simple safety, what is the cost of an individual being struck by a car? With school set to begin in just a few weeks, the hope is drivers will slow down and keep an eye out for these crossings. And they should know this, police will be keeping an eye out for them. But especially this time of year with school beginning, we're all looking at these crosswalks and enforcing them at a higher level than we ever would. And from her front row seat, Pat hopes the view gets safer. I'm hoping it does. We all are. Now the flashing LED lights at the corner of 8th Avenue and Wood are now fully functional. The second set of lights at the corner of 8th Avenue and Jefferson Street will be operating by the start of the school year. There are similar lights further up the road in West Baraboo that have been operational now for a year. And Mark and Susan, they work, but only when drivers pay attention, don't become too impatient and don't drive too fast. It's almost that time. Slow down. Yeah, the kids are coming back. All right, thank you, Dave.